Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Simon Sarah Watson. I am the CEO of Your Castle. Your Castle is a UK company that's been established to disrupt the traditional mortgage-based property market. The experience team has put together an alternative solution to the way that people will buy their home. Despite historically low interest rates over the last decade, the property market has become significantly less accessible to the majority of people in the UK. This is because average property now costs, the average property in the UK now costs over seven and a half times the average salary. This is a massive increase from three and a half times the average salary 20 years ago. For younger buyers, mortgage approvals have halved during this period, whilst the number of young people moving into the private rental sector has doubled. The main thing about this is that in moving into the private rental sector currently means there is no real term per month saving over what you'd be paying on a mortgage. Your cost's model is for a blockchain related solution that provides an equitable, sustainable and cost effective solution for customers. We acquire the company, we acquire the property, we rent it out to customers and provide them with an acquisition program for them to buy through a right to buy plan. Each month, customers make two separate payments. One is a rent payment, one is a right to buy payment. The, the right to buy payment goes into an equity value account, which builds up over a period of 25 years so that at the end of the term, they have acquired the property outright. A permanent record of their payments passes through blockchain. The monthly rental payment reduces down on a monthly basis pro rata to the equity that is building up. So what we effectively do is replace a mortgage which would be making capital repayments and interest. The interest is replaced with a rental payment and the capital repayments are replaced with an equity uh, acquisition payment. Customers apply online. <laughs> We assess their income versus their expenditure. There is no need for them to give us an income multiple of what they earn. There is no need for them to put down a 10 to 20% deposit required by banks to give a mortgage. We provide them with an indicative value of property that they can afford having assessed their income and expenditure. <coughs> the customer finds the property, they apply for, to your castle, to buy it, your castle will charge them an admin fee and then undertake credit checks at that point um, to ensure that the information they've given us is accurate. Once again, there is no need for a 10 to 20% deposit for the purchase of the property. They are a renter, so they are paying a standard three month rental deposit. Your castle appoints a trustee who has a charge over the property. Why do we do this? Well, it's to safeguard investors. It's to safeguard investors in the ICO who have the underlying beneficial ownership of the property portfolio, as well as safeguarding the people that are putting money in to buy that property. So that effectively, the company cannot do anything without the investors and the people that are buying the property, their say-so or approval. Affordability. If you're out there looking for a property, the average rental yield that, in, that uh, the property owners are looking for is somewhere around 6% in the UK at the moment. The average standard rate mortgage is around 4%. Your cost of the profile affordability based on a rental yield of 4.5%, so similar to an interest on a mortgage. If you were buying a property that cost 200,000 or taking out a mortgage of 200,000, it would cost you 1,058 pounds a month at current interest rates. If you were renting the same property, it would cost you about 966, so there's very little difference. And in some instances, the rent would be more than the mortgage, depending on where you are in the UK. Your castle have put together um, a, a property uh, opportunity where for the same amount, uh, same purchase of property of 200,000, on a standard repayment plan, we could set them up. It would cost them 1,016 pounds per month for the first year, or even a low start plan starting at 857 pounds a year. Our mantra is, if you can afford to rent, you can afford to buy. 
the, the chart that we've got here shows how we break it down. So the blue line that descends down is what rent people will pay, and it starts off at uh, about uh, £750 a month for a £200,000 property, goes down to zero. The red line shows what they'll be paying in their right to buy payments, which increase each year as the rent comes down. So more or less, their total payments per month remain more or less consistent. It's slightly cheaper to start with over a repayment mortgage, a little bit more expensive in the midterm, and then figures come back down again. This is a low start plan, and I have to say, anyone looking at a low start plan, um, sorry, can you just go back to that last one? The low start plan, it starts off much cheaper, but is more expensive in the long run. And we will be explaining to customers that if they can only afford that to start with, they need to be aware that the payments will be going up. The target market is young professionals that we're looking at. We're not looking at wanting to uh, take on business from people who can't get a mortgage because they've got a poor credit rating. We want to be very clear on that. Uh, why do we want that? Young professionals will have aspirational income um, opportunities as well as aspiration in what they're looking to do with property. The average that people move uh, is after eight years in the UK. Where a customer wishes to move, we will put the property up for sale and they will get their share of the sale proceeds dependent on what equity they own within the property. We've made a whole range of assumptions in our business model, which are all based on industry standard um, uh, positions. So there's nothing there that I'm talking through with property developers. They would say, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. We have three revenues, rental income, right to buy income, and property, <laughs> property sales. Uh, and as it shows the business model, we're projecting significant growth over the period. Um, uh, and what we're looking at is organic growth. Once we've done our ICO later on this year, we are looking at uh, organic growth throughout the whole period. Um, and the reason there is a big dip here in our projected value of, of properties being acquired is we've spent all the money and then it is organic growth from there, which takes a few years to build back up. We can go out and raise more money, but I'm assuming but we're not in a position to do so for whatever reason. If you assume you can raise money, you can't, the business will fall over. The team has undertaken a whole load of um, different positions, uh, primarily looked at from assessing in technical detail the finances, affordability of it, but also <coughs> what goes on within the market space. We've also had produced um, an equity research paper on our business. <coughs> Two minutes. We're looking at the moment for funding to build the technical platform, the, the blockchain platform, and how it interacts with websites and apps. Uh, we're looking for funding at the moment of about half a million pounds, um, is the maximum we're looking for right now. Um, and then moving to an ICO at the end of the year of 50 to 200 million. Um, the next phase, what are we looking at? Well, we're delivering the minimum viable product. We're looking at the legal structure. We've already done the research note, um, blockchain uh, contracts, uh, design on the website. We've also got to build an offshore structure because what we are offering is, going to be offering is a security token, not a utility token, and we will need to have a security token listed on the exchange, uh, and we'll be listing that in Gibraltar uh, because they already have a specialised blockchain exchange there to list. Um, I've tried to be as quick as I can with it, um, uh, so I know there's an awful lot to take in. My apologies. So how does the deposit work in this? For, for customers coming to us, we are, we are a property rental company. We are not a lender, we don't have to be regulated as a bank, uh, and yeah. we're not lending. So as a property uh, rental company, we are looking to take three months rental deposit from people wanting to buy a property. Uh, I know that will lead to a position where people say, how does that deal with de defaults? And the answer is that we are a property rental company, if somebody is defaulting on their rent, we're in a position where we can actually, uh, after three months, look at an eviction process because their name aren't on the title deeds. But it's easier, it doesn't mean it's easy, but it's easier to, to evict someone if we had to. But we can also use their equity value account to offset defaults on rental payments. 
Thanks so much, Simon. Give a round of applause to Simon and Patrick.